All right, now Lloyd is continuing building his PC, and today he gets to cover audio and video. So what kind of video card do you get, or do you buy a sound card? Lloyd will tell you. And <coughs> video. Hi, Lloyd Case of ExtremeTech.com here to tell you about graphics hardware and audio hardware for your PC in our series on building a PC. We have sort of a range here going from very high performance to medium level performance. Let's talk about this guy first. This is a card sold by PNY. It is a GeForce 8800 GTX graphics card. It's probably about the fastest thing you can buy today. Very high performance. Does require two power connectors from your power supply, so it is very power hungry, a GPU. Has a full 768 megabytes of memory though, as well as very high performance, uh, both DirectX 10 and DirectX 9. The next card in our list is a GeForce 8800 GTS card. Only has one power connector on the back, so you shouldn't require too beefy a power supply to run this guy. Not quite the performance of the 8800 GTX, but you'll notice it's shorter, which means it can fit in smaller cases than the 8800 GTS. A sort of moderately high-end card is ATI's latest card, which is the HD2900 XT. Roughly the same performance as a 640 megabyte 8800 GTS. Again, requires two power connectors, however. It's very power hungry. NVIDIA also has a mid-range line. This is their 8600 GTS, which is sort of the high end of their mid-range line, if you will. About a $200 card. Does require a power connector, however. It is somewhat more compact than the ATI cards that are equivalent performance, uh, but it does use a little more power. A couple of things else to note about graphics cards in general. All modern graphics cards today are PCI Express cards. They'll all have a PCI Express edge connector that fits into a PCI Express by 16 slot. The thing you have to watch out for on some motherboards, a few motherboards have two PCI Express by 16 physical slots, but one of them really may only be a by four in terms of electrical connections. So you want to make sure you install your graphics cards into the PCI Express true by 16 slot. We'll talk about that when we start doing installation. So that's graphics in a nutshell. A couple other things to consider, of course, is the display connectors. Today's graphics cards now have dual DVI connectors. So you'll need a digital monitor, but they also come with adapters that allow you to plug a VGA monitor into the DVI connector in case you have an older monitor. The other thing about all these cards here is they have something called HDCP built into them. HDCP is a technology for decrypting movie content, like for high definition video, and you need an HDCP enabled graphics card and an HDCP enabled monitor if you want to watch high definition movies at full resolution on your PC display. Now let's talk about getting good high quality audio out of your PC. If you're a gamer or if you're really into watching movies on your PC, you want to have good quality audio. Now certainly you can use your motherboard audio. If you look at every motherboard, they'll have a tiny little chip called the audio codec on them. All that does is it turns the digital audio that's in the PC and coming out in your system into analog audio. Then the motherboard itself will have audio ports that you connect your speakers or your headphones or your microphone or whatever you need to connect up to use your audio subsystem. You may also run into motherboards that have little audio risers like this card. There, there are two advantages of that. First of all, it kind of gets the audio chip out of the noisy environment of the motherboard itself, which can be have a very low signal to noise ratio and be very noisy. Also, it allows you to be flexible. If you don't want to use the motherboard audio, you simply don't install this little card and you can install the sound card of your choice. Now, if you're a fairly serious gamer, or if you're really into the high definition, uh, world of high definition audio, or if you're doing a lot of music editing uh, or digital, music, digital audio editing, you may want something more substantial than the audio that's built into your motherboard. Here we have a couple of different examples. Both of these are based on the Creative Labs XFi chip, which is a chip underneath this heatsink here. This is their Creative Labs XFi Gamer. Low profile, so it fits into small cases. Uh, has only four ports, including a digital audio port, very handy for uh, like small home theater boxes or very or compact gaming systems. The other card here is a new card by Azentech that they call the X-Fi uh, Prelude. The interesting thing about this card is it uses very high quality components all through the card itself, including uh, replaceable op amps, very high quality digital analog converters, uh, has digital audio right out of the bra bracket for coax uh, audio, as well as the usual PC style uh, mini jack connectors. Okay, now we've talked about the graphics hardware to get great 3D graphics as well as HD video playback out of your PC. We also talked about the sound hardware, both based on the motherboard and third-party audio cards to get great audio out of your PC. Next time around, we'll talk about optical storage and hard drives, uh, where you're going to put all that data on your system. And then once we get done with that segment, we'll move on to actually building our PC project. 
Thanks, Lloyd. That was very informational. Thanks, Trey. I use an XFi card in my PC at home, and I just upgraded from a 7800 uh, GT, GS, was it? GTS? To the 8800 model for specifically for Bioshock. And I gotta say, it was night and day, night and day difference. I, I have a 1950 that I managed to finagle from upstairs, and uh, mm-hmm. I ran out of money after I put my PC together, so. Aww. But I do have an X5 card from a long time ago, actually a year ago, so that works pretty darn well. I used to swear by the integrated motherboard audio, but you can't know. Can't stand them. Once you, once you step up to the x I imagine there's some other good cards out there, too, but that one in particular was just, uh, it was sweet. Sweet to hear. 